Hello and welcome to this lesson on measuring body mass index. This is also called BMI. This measurement is used to evaluate the obesity levels of people or a nation. If we look at people, we can sometimes make a judgment on whether we think they are healthy or not. To calculate the body mass index of an individual, we need to know their mass in kilograms and their height in meters. The formula for body mass index is mass divided by height squared. The general rule is the higher the BMI of an individual, the bigger they are. As an example, let's calculate the body mass index for someone who weighs 80 kilograms and is 1,8 meters tall. We start off with the formula for body mass index. We put 80 kilograms in for mass and 1,8 meters squared for the height. We need to put these values into a calculator to find the BMI. First, we push the fraction button then 80. To get to the denominator, we push the down arrow. Now press 1,8 and the x squared button. We press equals and get the answer 24,69135802. We round this off to 24,7. This number may not mean much on its own, which is why we need to compare it to a table of norms. In adults, if a BMI reading is less than 18,9, the individual is underweight. If the BMI is between 19 and 24,9, the individual is normal weight. If the BMI is between 25 and 29,9, the individual is considered overweight. If the BMI is above 30, the individual is considered obese. We will now take a look at a growth chart for males between the ages of 2 and 20. We can see the ages running from left to right along the bottom of the chart. We also see the BMI readings on the left and right of the chart running vertically upwards. The chart itself consists of a series of lines labeled from 5th percentile at the bottom to 95th percentile at the top. The darker line in the middle is known as the 50th percentile line. This line is the preferred average BMI for boys between the ages of 2 and 20. How do we use this chart in an exam type question? A typical question might ask if a 15 year old boy with a BMI of 24 would be considered underweight, normal or obese. Let's use the chart to answer this question. Locate the age at the bottom of the graph. Then locate the BMI reading on the left or right of the graph. Next, find the intersection of these two lines. We can see that this point falls between the lines that represent 85th and 90th percentile. This means that the boy has a BMI which is in the top 10 to 15% of the population and is considered to be overweight. A BMI which is above the 95th percentile would be considered obese. This point represents an 8-year-old boy with a BMI of 22. It is above the 95th percentile and the child is considered to be obese. Let's look at the BMI measurements for 15-year-old boys. We've drawn a line along the line that shows the age 15. The first curve crosses the 5th percentile line. This happens at a BMI of 16.5. This means that only 5% of 15-year-old boys have a BMI less than 16.5. The next curve that is crossed is the 10th percentile. This means that 10% of the boys have a BMI less than 17. At the 25th percentile line, the reading is 18.5. So 25% of boys have a BMI less than 18.5. But what do these values mean? Well, this gives us a good indication of what is normal for a particular age group. 
for the 15 year old boys anyone below the 10th percentile figure would be considered underweight from the 10th percentile value up to the 90th percentile value is considered the range for normality above the 90th percentile is considered overweight with obesity being reserved for values above the 95th percentile line Another typical exam question asks to explain why the BMI lines initially dip before increasing. This dip occurs between the ages of two and six years of age. The reason for this dip is that children tend to grow in height quicker than their weight increases during this period. This causes an initial dip in BMI. Past the age of seven though, the weight of the individual increases more than the height and therefore the BMI values begin to increase with age from seven to 20 years of age. Thank you for joining us grade 11s. Remember to look at the tasks for this section in the using measurement tasks video. You'll also be able to learn more about measurement on our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.